Oral mucositis is a debilitating adverse effect of high dose chemotherapy and affects up to 80% of all patients receiving high dose chemotherapy in preparation for hematopoietic stem cell transplantation. Oral mucositis, once established, comes with fully developed ulcers and oral alimentation is most likely impossible. In addition, once established, it may affect the patient's ability to tolerate further medical treatment, and there is an increased risk for systemic infections that can lead to sepsis and death. Using ice chips has effectively been used to alleviate the onset and duration of chemotherapy-induced oromycitis. However, the use of ice chips comes with several adverse reactions, such as chills, nausea, and shooting pain in the teeth which will all influence the tolerability and thus compliance. More importantly, ice chips requires water of good quality to minimize the risk of serious infections in these already immunocompromised patients. So therefore, to el eliminate these adverse incidents, this study was conducted to evaluate the efficacy of a novel intraoral cooling device named Coral for cry prevention of oral mucositis. So in total, 182 patients, the largest study conducted so far in the world within this field, diagnosed with multiple myeloma or lymphoma, were included and randomly assigned to cool with ice chips or the intraoral cooling device. So following inclusion and randomization and the chemotherapy session and cooling, the patients were followed up for up to 28 days. So regarding the results, when the entire patient material, meaning both the myeloma and lymphoma patients, were analyzed for oral mucositis, the cooling methods, meaning eyes and the intraoral cooling device, were equally effective, and severe oral mucositis was found to be below somewhere 10%. However, what's interesting is when the subgroup analysis was carried out for the lymphoma patients, which is a group of patients that develop oral mucositis to a greater extent as compared to the myeloma, the oral mucositis was shown to be much higher in the ice group as compared to the intraoral cooling device. And this difference was statistically significant. And even more interesting is regarding the patient reported durability of the two cooling methods. For the patients that used ice chips, somewhere 16% of all patients reported that it was painful, somewhat painful, as compared to 5% in the group using the intraoral cooling device. And this difference was also statistically significant. So to, to conclude this study, cry prevention is an effective strategy to prevent chemotherapy-induced hormonal However, the conventional cooling method of using ice was shown to be significantly improved by the use of the intraoral cooling device, both regarding prevention of oral mucositis in the lymphoma patients, as well as for the patient-reported tolerability for myeloma and lymphoma patients.